What are some options to deliberately change our operational capacity? Well, the smallest variations can often be dealt with by simply working a little faster or slower over a few hours or days. Next would be some repurposing of people and resources. Perhaps in a quiet period, operations staff could switch roles, helping in sales for a while instead. I know, helping other departments, radical. Anyway, or they could use some of their time for some extra training. In short periods of higher demand, perhaps we try to borrow in some non-operations people to help. What would it take to get a few people from R&D or marketing to spend a few days learning a role to help in operational delivery? It takes prior planning and cross-departmental managerial discussions, but few things can make an organisation more resilient than mutually supportive, adaptive and cross-capable team members. Our next option to deliberately change our capacity a little bit could be adjusting overtime. Offering for some people to work some extra hours or take some unpaid hours off. A larger action is to hire extra people. From lower to higher commitment, hiring an agency or contract worker, then a part-time role, then hiring a new full-time employee. On the flip side, headcount is typically reduced in the same order. How about non-people capacity changes? We can rent additional equipment and additional space, and maybe some of the work can even be outsourced or subcontracted. We could look to increase batch sizes to increase capacity from the reduced changeovers. I know that's bad for variation of demand, for lead times, inventory flexibility, but it is an option. It's very often the go-to action for the stressed operations to look for efficiencies by grouping up, batching work, and guess what? You get all those flip side consequences. Less often considered is the reverse option. In times of lower demand, you can afford to decrease batch sizes, reducing work-in-progress inventory as throughput and lead times improve. Finally, but one that certainly should not be left to last to consider, is an often overlooked option to increase the capacity of our operations. My speciality? Improving our operations. Can we improve through better training? improved process design, increasing process speeds, reducing losses and better coordinating resources to increase output through our bottleneck processes. As with many decisions, deciding if to change our capacity in the short and medium term means trade-offs. Do we want to keep our capacity the same and maybe suffer underutilization or increased inventory costs? Or instead, change our capacity and go through the extra costs, effort and disruptions. There will also be trade-offs between the cost of the flexibility versus quality or the cost of customer satisfaction versus the costs of our employee satisfaction. 